last time we prayed, I introduced you to the number of sectors that we'll be praying for. And I thought it was important that we proceed and tackle the other sectors that we have not talked about because it is petitions for all men. All of us are going to pray for our country again. We're going to thank God for our country. We're going to lift up our country and to gladly do so because this is where we reside. This is where we stay. This is where we want to prosper. Last week, was it last week? I think. I think it must have been last week. We prayed for about four sectors of the 18. We prayed for the social development sector. We prayed for education. We prayed for, we finished, we finished with the um, judiciary, okay, the generals, they call it the justice, law and order sector. Then we also prayed, prayed for the legislature, which is parliament. So those are the four sectors that we prayed for. Today we are going to tackle quite interesting sectors. I don't even know how I came to choose these ones, but I think today we're going to tackle four other sectors. Today we will tackle the accountability sector. We we'll look at the ICT and national guidance. We we'll look at the lands, housing, and urban development. Then we we'll also look at the water and environment. All these ministries serve us. Sometimes we are not comfortable when they don't do it right. right. But like I told you, we have chosen not to lament. Mm. When the Lord says, Come and receive rest. He wants us to come in this kind of way. That is him telling us, this is the way we walk in it. This is, it is him telling us, come to me, make your requests. No, but don't lament. So we have chosen the right path. And that is the distinction between us and the people of the world. The people of the world will fight, they will Mongad will do all kinds of things, but for us we come before the creator of the universe to tell him that, Lord, this is what we are going to pray for. When we are talking about the accountability sector, I want us to also reflect, think, think. There are many, God speaks in many different ways. So I don't want us to limit ourselves on this is what she's going to pray about. Something most likely will drop into your spirit Pray in that direction. Under the accountability sector, we have the Auditor General, we have the Finance Intelligence Authority, we have IGG, we have the Ministry itself, we have BPDA, we have UBOS, we have the Investment Authority and the URA. All those serves. And once they don't function the way they are supposed to function, we get a problem. So we're going to be praying for the accountability sector and those are the votes under the accountability sector. We're going to be praying for ICT, national guidance. We are looking at um, what is going on with the technology. ICT, communication and technology. What does it have to do with us as Christians? We're going to look at those that are putting cables all over the place and internet. What is the importance of internet and how are we supposed to address things like this? Okay. And then we'll also, I think, um, look at lands and house. Think that one, they are, they are not going to go into the details, but uh, they are just two votes. So then, with water, we'll be praying for the ministry itself. We pray for NEMA. I think most of you have heard about NEMA. You are going to learn that sometimes we don't just let things go by. We need to pray. When people are passing laws like um, of pollution and people are not supposed to pray and everything like that, let me tell you. Once the law is passed, there's nothing you can do. And that's how they tricked Daniel. They passed the law. They knew that they would not stop him from praying, so they did and passed laws. So sometimes we need to address these things before they happen. So we're going to be praying for them. We're going to be praying for National Forest Authority and the Meteorology Authority. So I'm glad I'm able to break this down for you so that we do not live in a world that we do not understand. And when the world functions better than us, like the word says that they are more, the world is more clever than the Christians, it, it feels awkward. We are supposed to know how we function 
as a country. So, starting with our accountability sector, Lord, we are going to pray for this unhealthy burden of taxes. You know, there are many people that are dodging taxes, others are evading taxes, there's misuse of funds, there's unfair treatment, and there are people who are getting along with it, like the, it is okay. So we're going to pray in that line, okay? So join me. Like I said, take time to reflect and think. And even if it's just two or three words, say them out. Say them out for your country. This is our country, Uganda. We thank you, Lord, for the accountability sector. We thank you, Lord, for every everybody that serves in the accountability sector, starting from the permanent secretary to all the commissioners and the ministers. You have put them there to serve us. We thank you, Lord, that they are there because you chose them. It is you who puts people in authority. We pray that their hearts will be drawn to you. We know that the hearts of the king are in your hands. Yes, Lord. And you choose to turn them wherever you wish. Yes, Lord. Turn the hearts of all those people that mm. work in the accountability yes, sector Lord, yes. to you. And let them be drawn to you. Let them be drawn to the needs of the people. Yes, let them not focus on only their interests. Lord, I pray mm. that they will fear you. Yes, and those are the people that I'm lifting up. Mm. As they move about doing their work. I pray that they'll be mindful of us, the citizens. They'll be mindful of everything that we do. I bring them before you, Lord. I bring them before you, Lord. The temptation is high. The temptation is high to bypass the laws and do as they please. But Lord, I pray that you will be the center of it all. It's you who holds things together. Everything consists because of you. I'm praying that you hold the things together. I'm praying that our leaders in those places and the other places that we're going to pray for will not lean on their own understanding, but they will acknowledge you. They will acknowledge you and you will direct their paths. Give them the wisdom that they need to do what is right, but not to glory what is wrong. We thank you, Lord, that you have heard our prayer. And you're listening to us even now as we pray. It is never too hard for you. We pray that there will be more opportunities for our country. And that we'll be able to grow from glory to glory. We will flourish where we are and will not be looked upon and belittled and thought of in a way that does not glorify your name. We are special, so I pray, Lord, we will keep that special. You will protect us and that no weapon fashioned against our country of any kind. There are those we know, there are those we don't know, mm. will prosper. Yes. So Lord, I pray that that mm. is going to be the case. Yes, Lord. That these people will be mindful of the citizens. Yes, Lord. Mm? And those that are invading taxes, and those that are, are, are bringing the whole burden to one section of people, Lord, I pray that you will draw their hearts to you that they will see where they are wrong and they will turn back to you. It's upon you, Lord. Mm-hmm. You tell us in your word that when justice is done, mm-hmm. it brings joy to us, the righteous. Yes, Lord. We want justice when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Help us. Mm-hmm. Help us get the right information that we need. When it comes to the statistics, sometimes we are frustrated, sometimes we use the wrong statistics, and we make poor decisions. Lord, I pray that you give us a functioning system so that we will not be caught up of God and do things haphazardly. Because you are a God of excellence, we believe you. We believe that you will be the God of excellence, even in our ministries, in our votes, in our offices, in every kind of area that we work in, you will be our God. Mm -hmm. I 
think you know that it's you that gives us power to make wealth. You oh, give God. this country power to make wealth. Yes, Lord Jesus. We do not want to live on the edge all the mm. time. Mm. Mm. I pray that you will shower us with blessings. Mm. And you will make us good stewards of what you bless us with. Oh, yes. And that we will not be selfish and self-centered. Mm. But we will look out for others. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you for all of us in this country, mm. for those that are having problems of financial stress, anxiety, mm. depression, mm. those that there are some that have even resorted to mm. substance abuse mm. because of financial stress. Oh God. Lord, I pray that you will restore oh, us, you, restore us as a country mm. and set our path right to consider what you consider important first. Oh. And I pray as a country, we will be generous because when we are generous, we are better stewards. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, this is our cry and this is our prayer. Mm. We are here making our requests known to you mm. because we do not want to be anxious. Yes. We just don't want to be anxious. Mm. So we are making our requests known to you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that as we, we struggle left, right, and center to make ends meet, you will direct our path. Yes, Lord. You will single us out. Mm. You will give us that kind of favor mm. because we know that favor is long lasting. Yes, Lord. Favor is not like a breakthrough. We are praying for favor. Yes. If favor is long lasting. That you bring us before kings in all that we do. Yes. That we shall stand out. Yes. And our grace will be multiplied. Mm. We shall be outstanding. We are Christians. We represent mm. you. Mm. So I pray that we shall be outstanding in our places of work. We shall be outstanding even in ministry. We shall be outstanding in everywhere you put us. Because we bear your seed. And I thank you Lord that you've given us an opportunity to present our hearts to you. Mm. To tell you what we think. You tell us that you give us a heart's desire. Mm -hmm. Maybe we've not desired for bigger, bigger things so that our hearts are our we are getting answers to those desires, putting us bigger desires yes, for everything concerning our welfare in this mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. Because it is like we saw last week, Uganda mm -hmm. is a special position. Yes. It is your special position. And so we thank you that when we pray, you listen yes, to us. Thank you, Lord, that you are there to listen to us. We continue to pray, Lord, for the ICT oh, yes. and national guidance. We thank you that through technology, we've been able to meet as CNI. We are able to join here and pray together. It, it, it's, it's a great opportunity. And I'm reminded that you said that I am going to heaven. You shall do more things. This is one of them to make us creative, to make us get to one another in a better way. We are grateful for this platform. We are grateful that we connect with one another. We are grateful that you are doing so much with technology. We are reaching the world with technology. We are able to see what's going on. It is so beautiful. Technology mm -hmm. is beautiful. And that mm -hmm. shows how creative you are because you can do nothing without me. Mm -hmm. and, and that is true. We can do nothing without you. Yes. And now you've given us all these brilliant ideas mm -hmm. as we continue to evolve, Lord, mm -hmm. to evolve. I pray for wisdom. Yes, Lord. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. And there's no shadow of turning. Every good and perfect gift. Technology is a good and perfect gift. Mm. But like any other thing, while we sleep, the enemy brings all the tears and just puts everything, wings all over the place. Yes. 
And now what was a good and beautiful thing? He wants to turn it around for his good? No. No, 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 no. We say no as Christians. Technology is supposed to benefit us. Say technology is supposed to serve us. But see what it is doing to us these days. There's so much perversion going from left, right, center. On the social media, Lord, it has become like a pit. So much pornography. So there's so much that is going on, Lord. And probably as old people, we know how to go about it. But there's some old people that do not know how to go about it. Give us self-control. Give us self-control on how to deal with everything that has to do with technology. Yes, Lord. We can't have two masters. You are God. Technology cannot be our God. Yes. So, Lord, I pray against distractions. Against distractions by these gadgets. Mm -hmm. By technology. Mm -hmm. Some homes have been separated by what was supposed to be good and now the same things that are supposed to be good are putting our families asunder they are separating marriages in any kind of way that we use these things they are separating families restore our families and give us the wisdom that we need the wisdom to run these things the wisdom to to know this is the way and that you should walk in it. To listen to instruction. Lord, I pray that these that you see all over the place will be for our benefit. Yes. Some of us are so distracted. Mm. Our children are so taken away and removed from the world of reality. Whereby it is all about video games and everything that is going on, Lord. Lord, I pray that this that is good will be used for only the good things in the name of Jesus. Yes. It is a beautiful thing, so I pray that we shall use it for the glory of your name. Mm. Just like we're using this platform now to pray, to join hands, to meet, mm. I pray that technology will be used to bring glory to your name. Yes. Sometimes I also think that, Lord, you are too powerful. <laughs> you are powerful, my Lord. I remember when we were all shining away and saying, we can't go on the internet and do all these kinds of things. Isn't it amazing that you single-handedly took us to internet, took the church to the internet, so that it is not only crowded with rubbish, that time of COVID was quite amazing, Lord. And we reflect on those things. All the churches and all kinds of people were able to go in this space and feel it. Yes. And look, we are able to get good information on the internet. Mm-hmm. So without you, we can do nothing. And if you choose to turn things around, you can actually do it. So it is a privilege when we come before you to be used of you. Because you can use any situation to turn things around. You can. And you did it. You did it. I pray that it will grow. I pray that it will extend. I pray that we continue to say thank you. Look at what is happening in Asbury. Now, the revival that is happening there. When we thought we had lost hope in America, but see what you're doing. You continue to do amazing things. And now that this that you have started in this country, I pray that it will multiply. Yes, Lord. It will multiply and multiply. Yes, like I pray, oh God, mm. Uganda will be the altar for this yes, continent. Lord. Yes, Lord. Uganda will be the altar. For this continent. It is the yes. altar for this continent. Mm-hmm. And we thank you that you mm-hmm. chose the Pearl of Africa to mm-hmm. be the altar yes. of this continent. Mm-hmm. We cancel all the plans of the enemy of using technology for abuse, for theft, for destruction, mm-hmm. and any kind of hindrance mm-hmm. or setback that the enemy is mm-hmm. planning. Jesus. We say, do not prosper. Mm-hmm. 
it is your weapon, it will not prosper. Jesus. Mm. I pray, oh God, mm. like you said, watch and pray. Mm. We'll be able to watch mm. and pray. We'll not be carried away. We'll be able to watch and pray. Mm. And be able to be a lot. For the enemy is roaming around looking for what to devour. Let's be able to take our positions and be alert and pray like we are doing today. Like we are saying, Lord, listen to our prayer today as we pray that things will be in place. That will not that will not be subject to what the enemy has to offer us. You move in places like saloons and all women are naked all over the TVs and mm-hmm. everywhere. And we look on and we are surprised when we get the results that we get. Mm-hmm. Grant us the wisdom to see such things. Yes, I know, I know our eyes can be so closed that we cannot see the connection. But Lord, give us the wisdom. Yes. Give us the wisdom to see yes. where all these things are coming from. Yes. And that we can make a connection and make our place better. Mm-hmm. I am praying for every person at the sound of my voice right yes, now. Lord. If you have a role to play in the ICT sector, something will be birthed on the inside of you yes, that you will be the one to rescue your people. Mm-hmm. If you are here at the sound of my voice, you will know that I'm talking about you and that the Lord is saying take up your position and that you will know what to do and I thank you Lord that you're going to do that because you've always done it now and again I thank you Lord for everything that you're doing for us we continue to pray we continue to pray for the lands and the housing and the urban development. You know how we all rush to go and, um, and and take pictures in other countries and we are so happy. Sometimes I'm thinking, why aren't we so proud of our country? Why is it that we have those beautiful things that we can boast about? Where does all this mismanagement happen? And we look away. The Lord, our God, as image bearers, Lord, made us stewards of creation. And this is our Uganda today. We are supposed to be better stewards. And he told us to be fruitful, to multiply, to feel, to replenish and to feel, mm-hmm. and in order to thank you. I don't know how we've gone about it, but how are we multiplying this, our country, our land, our property, and everything that is going on? It is so much in a half hazard way that you even wonder, what on earth are we thinking about? Sometimes I'm joking around with my husband, and I'm saying, I think when our kids grow up, at that time, we do not want it that way. So, I am praying that we will have that heart. I'm praying that even when you move, when you work, when you think, when you're given an assignment, you will think of this place as special and as a special position that you want it to be the place you can be proud of. I look at how our slums are. I look at how we are building so much selfishness in our hearts. And we and we're not bothered by it. Somehow and then I, I I try to compare that with heaven. I don't think there's such disorganization. So when you pray, may your kingdom come, may your will be done as it is in heaven. Okay, it is his will. Excellence is his will. He works it that way. So we are supposed to have a beautiful place to stay and a beautiful place to enjoy. So Lord, I pray 
that she would hear our cry and bring organization to our heads. Bring organization to our heads. Yes. We want things to be systematic, not forgeries. When it comes to the land section, I don't even know how to even start praying. When you think about the corruption, when you think about the land rumbles and the witchcraft and the land grabbing, and then you think about the human sacrifices just because of property, land. Hmm? And then we look on. No. We are not going to look on anymore. We are taking our position as Christians and we are saying, Lord, you can reverse it. You can do something about it. Hmm? And then we are saying, hey, in Uganda, the, the land's office, the approvals are always like that. No, I will start now and say, Lord, the land that we are acquiring in Mbara for the church, there will, will not be any delays in processing all the documents that we need in the name of Jesus. I also pray for all the property that we're going to acquire as CNI that it will not have any hindrance, any disturbances, any chaos surrounding it in the name of Jesus. I pray that it will be straight forward and that is the distinction. Because we are sending you word, it will be unto us and to your word. We are praying that it will be okay. Even for us who haven't, some of us who haven't gotten property that intend to get property and those that already have property, I pray that we shall be good stewards and that we shall not have these delays, we shall not have people cheating us, yeah. left, right, center. We pray that we shall be the light even in that area. Yeah. We shall be the light in that area. That when everyone is singing that we have sacrificed kids to pray, we maintain this property, we have to... No, 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 no. Our God owns everything and everyone on this earth. And so we give it back to him. Uganda is yours. The land of the property is yours. Use it according to your will or not. It's not... Giving, no, no, we don't want to give. It. I thank you, Lord, for giving us this beautiful land of ours. I pray that to be good stewards. I pray that even the people that go in offices to liberate and to, to, to decide on things concerning our land, that they will have your heart in them. We think deeply and not just pass laws yes. to pass time. No, we don't have that time anymore. Yes. I pray that you go before them. Yes, Lord. I pray that whoever is taking advantage of a widow, whoever is taking advantage of a child and grabbing yes. land, yes. It's, it's not a new thing. Even your word tells us in Proverbs that they were removing some landmarks and then taking away the land of the fatherless. Mm. My Lord, fight for your people. Fight for your people. Yes. It will not happen here. Mm. I reverse again. Yesterday we prayed for Charles. I reverse every plan of the enemy mm. of any kind of sacrifice in the name regarding of Jesus. land in the name of Jesus. This blood shedding has repercussions. I'm praying that we will not think about blood shedding in this country in the name of Jesus. Yes. You blessed our land. When you say that we're going to toil and work so hard mm. for the land, as you were telling King, King after he had he had killed the brother, and then and Adam after they had sinned. Yeah. Your redemption package brought this back and and now we are free from that curse Mm. we are supposed Mm. to prosper Mm. when you're in the garden praying and you were sweating blood those drops of blood fell on blood as a symbol that we are being broken from that curse this is supposed to yield fruit 
So Lord, I pray that whatever would bless our hands on regarding the land and the property that we have, we Mm -hmm. we shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We shall multiply. Mm -hmm. We shall fill the earth and we shall do it for the glory of your name Mm -hmm. because it is you, the Lord, Mm -hmm. who chose such places for us. And you also tell us that they overcame by the by the blood of the testimony. The testimony of what the blood can do, that is one of them. You set us free. You see, and now that we part of the redemption package, we receive it. We acknowledge that we now know what it is to us. We know that you have delivered us. So, Lord Jesus, we take back what belongs to us in the name name of Jesus. We take back what belongs to us Mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for whatever you're doing in our lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for this sector, which we call water and the environment. Like we have been praying, you wanted us to be very good stewards of of property, of land. I look at the polythene bags all over the place and I look at how give strength to the people who work in such places, especially in the urban centers. I pray, Lord, that you give them courage. I pray, Lord, that you speak to them in a way that we might not even understand. You can explain things to them that we cannot understand and get things done. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray that you will restore our land. Restore our land to where it is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And that our land will yield fruits, oh God. There are places, Lord, we are here, we we are we are glorifying you, we are thanking you, we are, we are praising you that you lead us besides still waters. That's imagining that alone just puts us in a place of it must be so heavenly. But in this our country, Lord, there are places that don't have water. And there are places, Lord, where people have to share water with cattle. And they're falling sick now and again. And sometimes it's very annoying when our our leaders look on and don't do anything about it. Lord, I pray that you will extend this service to those places, places in Karamoja, and other places in the north and in the east. Reach out to those places, Lord. Stretch this service to Kabong. Stretch this service to Nakapipi. Stretch this service to Abdat. Those places where there is trouble, continue to get water. I pray that they will have the water that they need. Lord, I pray that we will not throw food here in this part of the country. When the other part of the country people are starving, no, we are not that selfish. Provide a way for us. Create a way, Lord, where these people can get food so that we can be in a better place. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you have done regarding the meteorological authority for a long time it's not been functioning but sometimes it functions we all marvel at countries where they are they are given warnings that this is going gone this is is happening there's an earthquake there's, they are given warnings they are alerted they, the water flooding nothing takes them by surprise here we look on and people drown and yet we have an authority that is supposed to function. Lord, I pray and put in place everything that is needed in that authority to function verified in the name of Jesus. 
that will get all the alerts in time yes, Lord. and that will not take, be taken by surprise. Yes, Lord. That will get our weather focus right oh, yes, Lord. and will not yes, just Lord, love Jesus. other people. Can, we can do much more. Yes, we Lord. can do much more. Oh, so I'm praying that if, if there's so, anybody oh, that has a heart for our country in that area, oh, you will bath in them the desire to do that oh, because you want a better country to stay yes, in. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, Jesus. Mm. We thank you, Lord, for the many things that you're doing. Mm. We thank you that you continue to stretch and show us how you've given us a beautiful environment. Yes, Lord. And Lord, now we continue to pray that you listen to our cry. Yes, Lord. And we will not take things for granted. I thank you, Lord, mm. for the weather mm. you've given us. I thank you that it is going to continue like this in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. If Elijah managed to pray for the rain and it happened, we can also do the same. I pray that we want you to have rain over and over again and will not stop in the name of Jesus. Yes. This country will not stop in the name of Jesus. Yes. You will give us the wisdom and you will help us do what needs to be done right mm. in time. Yes, it is our country, Lord. Mm. We are putting things into place. Mm. Things in the spiritual are more real than what we see. And that's what we are doing. We are establishing all these things right in time. So that by the time they manifest, we will know that we oh, did yes. this. So oh, yes. Lord, I thank you oh, yes. that you're doing this and oh. so much more that we do not know in mm. the name of Jesus. Mm. I thank you, Lord, that you listen to our cry. Mm. I thank you, Lord, that you never leave. us nor forsake us and that your ears are inclined to our request. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing. Mm-hmm. And Lord, I want you to pray like us once they're drawn to you, you can direct them. Mm-hmm. You can dare, you can tell them what to do. Be mm-hmm. true men to yourself. That is very important to oh Lord. And take away the heart of stone and give us the heart of flesh to be mindful of other people. To think about about other people the way they think about us. And not to be selfish. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that we have chosen not to lament. We have chosen to bring our requests known to you. And so I pray, Lord, because this is the promise according to your word, that our minds and our hearts will be guarded. Mm. We will not be anxious. Even when things are not going well, because we have laid it before you, Mm. I pray that we'll find rest. We will find rest in our hearts. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus, even for the things that I cannot put in words. Lord, when we go out of this place to pray, Lord, I pray that you will continue to bath in us yes, the Lord. desire to see oh. this country prosper in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Yes. I I thank you, Lord, that you've had that prayer yes, and you'll continue to hear our prayer at all times. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen.